Palindrome by W. Sean Arthur. Mike pushed through the door, closing it carefully behind him. It was cold outside. Evening, Joe, he said. Bar was nearly empty and silent, but for the tinny voices of a pair of yahoos calling the hockey game. Mike glanced over for the score. Few patrons studiously avoided his eyes. For a moment, Mike just sat. He was so tired. Tired of cleaning up everybody else's screw-ups. Tired of unraveling their twists, their tangles, and their snags. He was tired of time guard. He nodded at Joe. Joe grimaced, but poured out a small glass of whiskey and slid it across the bar. Bushmills, the good stuff. One shot was all he needed. After all, he was a professional. Smoke drifted across the bar, stinging his eyes, and Mike blinked as he patted his sidearm. Mike then leaned back, reached for his gun again, and looked down the bar at the man he'd come to find. Well, said the man, I guess that's it then. A time guard always gets his man. I suppose the only way out is to kill you. It's too bad. You remind me of me, in a way. Only one of us has a gun. Mike patted his sidearm again. True. So, you making a move or not? Man cocked an eyebrow. Not. For the moment, anyway. Time here is messed up good. Could go around several loops. Maybe in different directions even. Yep, the man said. Palindromic time snag. Not much fun when you're stuck in it. Feels like going backwards. Except things are happening differently. It's like being pushed through it. Damn it. Not again. Palindromic snag, hell. He could already see how this was going to go. All the types of time snags Mike had seen since joining Time Guard, the recursive, the crab-like, anagrammatic. Man, palindromic was the worst. It was so damn confusing. And too often, the only way out was to shoot the guy who started the snag. He was licensed to do it, but it still made him uncomfortable. While would-be time travelers were idiots, it was hard not to feel sorry for them. There was always something tragic they wanted to reverse, never realizing that the past could never be changed, that trying could only lead to endless thickets of time snags. He sighed, and then the hairs on the back of his neck stood up. He recognized that feeling. Damn it, said the man. Not again. Yep, Mike said, palindromic time snag. Not much fun when you're stuck in it. Feels like going properly backwards. Except things are happening differently. It's like being pushed through a knot. For a moment, anyway. Man frowned. Time here is messed up good. Could go around several loops. Maybe even in different directions. True? So you making a move or not? Mike cocked an eyebrow. Only one of us has a gun. The man gestured at Mike's sidearm. I suppose the only way out is to kill you. It's too bad. You remind me of me, in a way. A time guard always gets his man. Well... That's it, then. Mike leaned back, reached for his gun again, and looked down the bar at the man he'd come to find. One shot was all he needed. He was, after all, a professional. Smoke drifted across the bar, stinging his eyes, and Mike blinked as he patted his sidearm into position. He nodded at Joe. Joe grimaced, but poured out a small glass of whiskey and slid it across the bar. Bushmills, 
the good stuff. For a moment, Mike just sat. He was tired. Tired of cleaning up everybody else's screw-ups. Tired of unraveling their twists, their tangles, and their snags. Tired of time guard. Bar was nearly empty and silent but for the tinny voices of a pair of yahoos broadcasting the hockey game. Mike glanced over for the score. The few patrons studiously avoided his eyes. Evening, Joe. Mike pushed through the door, closing it carefully behind him. It was cold outside.